Good afternoon. I'd like to reflect with you on today's gospel for the fourth Friday of the fourth week of Easter. It's taken from the 14th chapter of the gospel of John, a very famous passage. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday, I talked about a good shepherd, my friend, Father Bill Kennedy. He was always disorganized, especially at mass and once during a funeral, this was the chosen gospel, which we just heard, and he couldn't find his page in the book, but he, so he kept on flipping his, page, his fingers through the pages of the, the lectionary to try to find it. But he had said so many funeral masses in his day and the gospel had been chosen so frequently that he began to just do it from memory. And by the time he finally found his page, he had finished the gospel, a famous passage. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Sometimes I think the Apostle Thomas gets a bad rap. He's often known as the Doubting Thomas. But he is the occasion of two great revelations of Jesus. Today's revelation of Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. And the gospel we heard on Divine Mercy Sunday, where he proclaims with faith, my Lord and my God. In the gospel of Divine Mercy Sunday, the beginning of the gospel is where Jesus passes through the doors and he says, peace be with you to the apostles. Receive the Holy Spirit. He shows them his hands and his side and he commissions them. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And he gives them power to bind and loose sins. But Thomas would not believe that the risen Lord had appeared. But then Jesus had appeared the following week and said, Thomas, come here. Put your finger in my wounds. Put your hand in my side and be not unbelieving, but believe. And Thomas made a great confession of faith. My Lord and my God. He who is truly crucified, who suffered in the flesh, who bears the wounds of the crucifixion in his risen flesh, is truly alive. And he is Lord and God, and he is to be worshiped. And his mercy is greater than the power of sin and death itself. Thomas is a source, it becomes the occasion for Jesus to reveal the divine mercy. But he also becomes an occasion with his question, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? For Jesus to reveal himself as the way, the truth, and the life. The early followers of Jesus, the early disciples, were said to belong to the way. To belong to Jesus. He is the way. And when we belong to him, we adopt a certain style of life. We agree to keep the commandments, especially the commandment to love God and to love neighbor. We might ask, how do I live differently? Because I know Jesus but also because I belong to him. Am I part of the church? Am I part of the way of the Lord Jesus? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. Jesus is the truth. The truth is not some abstract idea. Rather, it is a person. And the church reveals to the world the truth of Jesus Christ, the truth of the human person made in God's image and likeness. Truth is reality, not fantasy. And we must engage reality, especially with the eyes of faith. Truth means that we are not subject to the dictatorship of relativism, where things change according to the whims of some, or things change according to popularity. No, there is an objective truth that can be apprehended. But this truth is a person who helps us to better understand ourself. Jesus says, I am the truth. And the truth of the matter is that in Jesus, we have a love stronger than death. Jesus, the truth is revealed at the cross. 
where there is a judgment on sin, but there's also a judgment of love by the Eternal Father for the truth of the fidelity of his son, a judgment in favor of humanity. This is the truth that God will forgive our sins and we can have true life if we embrace him. I am the way and the truth and the life. Jesus came that we might have life and have it abundantly, not only in this world, but that we might have eternal life. He came because the Father wills that none should perish and all should be saved. He came to save us and to offer life. St. Irenaeus of Lyon says, the glory of God is man fully alive, but we are only fully alive when we know him and we love him and we serve him. Christ is alive, but he is alive in us. Do we witness to Jesus, not only as our Lord and a God, but as the way, the truth, and the life? For no one can come to the Father except through him. And it is our task as missionary disciples, as those who belong to the way, to lead others to the Father's house, where there are those many mansions that have been prepared for us from the foundation of the world. May God bless you and your families on this Friday evening.